everyone welcome to our live this is our tiktok live and our tiktok is vo.tino for youtube watchers you can see where i am so you can come in and join our live so today uh, i am going to do a tropical pineapple team so the shape that i am going to do is two letters and my website is www.tunovo.shop and customer service is Kyla. Her phone number is 417-772-4020. Hello everyone, hello, welcome, welcome. All right, let me sit down here. Get my nail out and we are ready to rock and roll. So let me turn on the light. And how much did you get there? Uh, I got 50%. 50? Mm -hmm. All right, let me flip the camera over so you can see. Put this down right here. And then let's teach you guys a little bit with what we did today on Instagram. all right and we shall get started so if your hand is free uh please uh tap that like button for me so we can boost our algorithm up so more people can watch us Ooh, all right let me settle in here Now, um, hello, hi, hi everyone. Hello, hello, Sylvia, Erica. Welcome, 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 everyone. Hello, hello, Erica Contreras. All right, so Contreras. now I am gonna paint everything with white. You know what you should have done? You should just sit here like a stone wall and be like, we will begin. <laughs> After 15,000 likes. After 15,000 likes, where you get started. <laughs> but you know what? You already got three, so. Right. <laughs> doing good. Thank you, thank you, everyone. Now, I'm using a gel called Pigment Base. Oh, these styles are so sweet. So they're ready to absorb your greatness. All right, yes. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. Yes. <laughs> um, I am using a gel here, this called Pigment Base. And what this gel does is it's built to adhere pigment flawlessly, very smooth. Um, but in this design, however, uh, it doesn't serve you a purpose to use pigment base. Uh, I just use it because that is my white gel polish. So you can get any kind of white gel polish to apply. Mm. And I am going for tropicals. Uh, pigment base will be arriving tomorrow. Tomorrow. And then it'll be posted Kids. by Thursday, no later. Yes. We'll try to have it on in the same day. If not, it'll be on Thursday. But tomorrow is finally arrived. Hallelujah. Hello, Heather. Hi, Heather. You know, Hi. everybody really should say thank you, Heather, because she is one of the the team that works in the town that makes everything else possible. Yes. Truly. Hi, Heathers. She's not old, but she's our mother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ring fingers. Now I have another one. Thank so you, everything have white in it, everything. Thank you for the rose, darling. Welcome, welcome everyone. Hello, Aunt Deb. Welcome to our live stream. And one more thing I wanna tell you is after the live today, I will not be going on live for another three days. And I will be back on Saturday. Uh, I have project to do. I have seven video to make. Each one take about an hour. I have a seven video to edit and I have 11 photo to take. So I will have a lot of work. But then I'll be right back on. 
Okay, so I'm gonna close this. And first thing first is let's check out our Hello, Sophia. class. So this is what I am going to use. Hello, Tip Owens. Hi, everyone. What are we learning today? Today we are doing tropical design, tropical clams design. Oh, mm -hmm. I thought we were gonna learn it. It takes a big dog away a ton. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I am taking out clams. Clam, we have 12 different shapes, and this is fantasy clam right here. Fantasy clam. This is a raw iridescent glitter with a light tone that you can apply in acrylic, you can apply in gel. Today we are going to apply this in gels. So let's take all my nail out. One, two. The, uh, the chrome is Three, his own chrome from kinovo.shop. There's a link in the bio. Yes. Mind you. Oh. Because these have big oh, uh, screens. No. So. Yeah, we can click on. All right. Because when I wipe right, I wipe right. It's, uh, wipe right. Good. I, I'm, I'm on the wrong. Beep. My, when I, our... All right, everyone. Now. We have, it's all here. I am gonna mix out my clam. So I need a no, palette. Right. Yeah, we're right. Okay. So I am going to take out my clams. And I am going to take out some top coat. This is sanded, by the way. Sorry if we missed some uh, comments. We had technical difficulties. Okay, I'm gonna apply it down here. Okay, and then I am going to mix this in. Close this. So first I will do a little teaser for you guys. Ooh, is that a good teaser or a bad teaser? Uh, but a little bit of both. A little bit of both? Yes. So Hello, I am Drew. gonna mix this up. Okay. Thank you, Dari. And then for this design here, I am going to add a little bit of stained glass. So I'm taking out stained glass number seven. This is aqua. Give it uh, a little colors. Are you making the B set that you're Flaunting in front of their face. Again. Yes, I did make it an Instagram this morning. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is the second live you did that earlier. Yeah, that's why I tell you guys don't blink because I'm moving very fast. Is it, is it builder gel or hard gel? This one is just a top coat. You don't want to use a thick gel. It's just want to use a top coat. So I'm using shine it as a top coat. I will leave it here for you to see. Thank you, TLZ. Shined it right here for you to see. Now, yes, I'm moving very fast. This morning, I did uh, this B set on Instagram, and I told you guys, whatever I do on Instagram, I would not do on TikTok. Whatever I do on TikTok, I would not do on Instagram. We got it. Keep his brain going, does not like to repeat at mm -hmm. all. So when I'm done with this, I am gonna choose No, he made the two bee. fingers. He made the B. Sorry, baby, I'm just over here. They're, they're, they're asking and writing so quickly. Now, one thing about clams that I want to point out for you before we go any further. I am gonna take a flat brush out. So he takes the TikToks and then he downloads them to his YouTube. Yes. So you can fast forward and rewind. Yes. And yesterday said, is a white elephant said, I already download on uh, YouTube. Now, when it time to, when it comes to clams, people uh, usually struggle with this because, you know, when they put it on, they'll be like, oh, well, that's too thick. I couldn't put the second coat on. 
and it be good of the top coat. You know what I mean? Especially a, a glam gel that have top coat in it. If it get in your way like this, what you can do is you have to have top coat or else the glitter will sink down to the bottom. But if it in your way, what you can do, you can take a sponge. This is our ombre sponge that we have on the essential category on tinovo.shop. And you can soak up all the top coat. So all it's left is a glitter for you to freely use. That way you have more freedom with your glitters. However, I will not do it in this step. I just want to point it out for you so you can see and understand because glitter can be very fun and easy as long as you know how to work it properly. I did not get to eat any potatoes. Now, Hello, candy coated. Ombre brush. This is a dual brush, so it's half <gasps> an ombre head. And what I'm gonna do is I am gonna smooth it out, trying to make an ombre. Heather just drove by and honked. <laughs> oh! <laughs> okay, now. When I'm done, I'm gonna check to see. I wanna make sure everything is nice and smooth before I'm putting it in to the Ooh. light and cure this. I am going to cure this for 60 seconds while I'm adding glam to this finger too. So is the top coat on the nail wet or cured already? Top coat on the nail is not cured yet. You cannot soak top coat up if you already cured it, then it's gonna freeze. So make sure if you want to soak the top coat art, just in case you want to do art or if the, gl if the glam is not solid enough and you want to apply two layer, you by all means, you can uh, soak it up, the top coat with the sponge. But you see, Ooh, in this glam, it's very look very solid because I add stained glass gel on it. If you don't know about my stained glass gel, I build it for shading. I use it to basically it's sheer so it can show the background. If you have glitter or flake or whatever it is underneath the background, it can show very well. All right, now with this, I'm curing it for 60 seconds. I'm taking this out. What I am going to do is I am going to apply a um, white gel to ombre this, okay? But before I do that, I have to make sure that it's smooth. So for that, I am going to take shine it and apply it on just to make sure that it's all the way smooth and level because if your nail is not smooth, if it's textury, then when the white on, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very bumpy and uneven. Wherever the area is highest, the white going to be very light. And wherever the area is the lowest, the white going to be very deep. So make sure that everything is level so your nail doesn't look Inconsistence. Hear this? <clears throat> yeah, man, we're gonna be right next to Dev. Woohoo! Yeah, it's not gonna be so fun. Mm -hmm. Okay, now apply on this. Just like this. Yes, hit those screens. Double tap, double tap. Yes, double tap that screen for me. Hear this? Or oh, not double tap. Um, oh, you got double tap, baby. Uh, triple tap? This is not double way? tap. This is like Shaking the screen. Uh, these are the online courses. Now, after this, I am going to boost it back. I'm done with this. And I am going to take a buffer and make sure everything is smooth before I put the white ombre in. So I am taking out Tammy Taylor buffer. Hello, Jesse. Clean, finish buffer. Put it here, right here. No, these are the online courses. We just teach for free online. Yes. But Tino's kind of like Waldo. Where, where's Tino? <clears throat> you just gotta... Yeah, I'm here. I'm on Instagram. I'm everywhere, you guys. It's up to you to catch up to me. Right. Because if anyone ever missed it set, that's mean you guys have not been in Instagram this morning or else you have already have chance to experience this set. And I did this be out of hand. I, I did this out of my hand. I piece it together, this piece. Yes, yes. All right, now. Thank you, Amber. Done my clams. I am going to take the buffer and make sure that I smooth out everything. Mm -hmm. Make sure everything is smoothed out by buffering it. What did you make it with? 
for this too. Uh, you'll have to go back and see that. Mm-hmm. This glam right here is what I use. And we have 12 different shades. 12 different shades of glams. Now don't miss the next step. I am going to take out 3D jelly. And if you ever wonder what is 3D jelly, it is a cell leveling gel. That's what 3D jelly is. Um, cell leveling builder gel, so it cannot hear chrome. So what 3D jelly is, I can put this on here and put chrome right on it. But 3D jelly is also is a blooming gel too. And what I'm gonna do, oh, I'm almost running out. I need a new one. I need to take a new one. Is that 3D gel? Mm-hmm. Go yes, thank you. Very little, baby. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. Now, I am gonna open this. <coughs> spin it around, spin it around, make sure it's sharp, and take it out. Thank you, Tara. There you go. Then, I am gonna use this palette, but at this point, I'm already done with my glam. So I no longer need any more glams. No more glams. Yes, I am oh. gonna wipe it away. And remember that I mix it with stained glass gel to add in color shade. Oh. Now with a scoop, Remember, wipe this too. Make sure that it's just no glitter of any kind on it. Scoop out a scoop of 3D jelly. Twirl it around. Apply it on your palette. Okay. I'm done with this 3D jelly with a lid, honey. Thank you, everyone, for hitting those screens. We appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. I love it. I love like because we, that's boost our average. We, we would rather have likes than gifts. Yes, I love like. Okay, now pigment base. I am gonna apply just a little bit of pigment base. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Goddess Trends. <laughs> Twirl it in. Make sure that it's milky. Twirl it in just like this. Then I'm gonna get a paper towel. Clean this here, clean this up. Then I'm gonna remove to a flat brush. I don't think you haven't loaded the beat tutorial on Instagram yet, have you? Um, I did. I you did? did? Mm -hmm. Oh, you might not be on the right, right page, you have two pages. So it's, all the free yes. live tutorials are loaded up on tinovo.shop yes. Instagram page. Yes. But if you go watch it now, you will miss this. You'll too. miss this. And yes. Then you'll be... Make sure you plan out your strategy better so you don't miss anything I do. All right, now I'm putting a little bit of white right here. And with this ombre head here, I am going to feather this up. Thank you, Tara. Just Sweetie. like this, I'm going to feather this up. So that it's nice and flush. Okay. Feather it up and then this feather is down. Are you doing a quickie today? Ish? Today? No, it's a set. It's about uh, one hour to one and a half hour. Kill this. Take the Thank other nail me. out. Continue. Ooh, honey, you're 41,000. Woohoo! Woo Thank you, everyone. Hmm. Okay, just like this. Now flush it over. Make sure that you brush very lightly. And the reason why I make with 3D jelly because I want volume. Because with just a flat gel, it's gonna be very liquidy and be semi-difficult for you. Most likely, you will struggle through it. So I want to make sure it's volume to cover this metal right here to make sure that we have a great, great blend. Do it one more time if you must. Uh, yes, he will be posting this live on YouTube later on. Yes. And thank you, Kate, Katie. Just Katie. Hi, Katie. <laughs> you know, 
we're blessed with the opportunity that over the last nine years, we have not been separated more than two weeks. And that's really probably yes. an over-exaggeration of it. I can't stand to be without them. That's counting like one hour at a chiropractor or pretty much any office they won't let me go in with him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is up. So see, it's a trend in Russia right now. I'm gonna kill this. It's really like it when you sing songs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, apply this again. So after this, what I am going to do is make a embossed pineapples using gold chrome. And I am going to use unicorn glitz solar to construct my pineapple and the group of the pineapple will be solid gold. That is what I am going to make next. What is the trend in Russia, honey? This right here, the cuticle fade, the glitter cuticle fade, is a trend right now. Ah. Uh, hey, Hear this. Can you say this, uh, <laughs> What's that? This right Oh, Edna Mode. Edna, Edna Mode. mode. Hi, Edna Mode. <laughs> Shand it, apply over this. Thank you, Mishi. Hmm. Now run it all over. Just like this. everything is covered now cure this this one too apply it all over uh, pigment base will be back in it's tomorrow Wednesday and we'll be back online by Thursday but Tina's gonna try to rush uh, dream time and have them do it immediately. Yes, kill this. All right, now I am getting the middle finger out and get ready for my pineapple. So with the white already here, and as you know, I'm using pigment base. So what I am going to do is take our paper towel and some pigment. So paper towel ready over here. And the nail over here and Give me the pigment dust. This one. Yes. Thank you. So I am gonna get my pigment out and I am gonna do blue and green. Take it out. Ah. Uh, blue first. I had a question I missed it, so. Re-ask, re-ask the question. Yeah, re-ask questions because this thing moves quick and I'm a slow reader. Mm -hmm. Now, I am going to mix the blue and green together. Make sure that it match my colors. Thank you, Tara. Make sure that this matches this. Let me see. Thank you for all the likes. Good. That's what Tina loves. Keeps it motivated. Okay. Now, from here, I am going to dust this on. But before I do that, I am going to get a cup, put it in here, and knock out the dust. You have to knock out all the excess dust before you do a pigment fade. Knock out all the dust. Now, apply it in. Hello, Jamie. Just like this. This need a little more green. Uh, can you bundle with favorite most useful products? Ooh, that's a no. Man, Tino I can't. loves everything. That's, mm -hmm. that's difficult for him to. That's impossible. All right, now put the green in. As long as I have it on my website, is my favorite. But we are slowly working on bundles and stuff. We just yes. wouldn't wanna. I have bundle for each kind of product, but not like all the product together. That's no way. We we can't. Okay, Pick now and choose what you may, what kind of artist you would be either. Yes, every artist is different. That's why I'm here to teach all technique. 
are different technique. Now, if you have problem with your ombre, make sure that you run over the paper towel a couple of times. That will weaken out the pigment in your brush, so you can dust it up easier. Now there is a piece of dirt right here. So when I fade it in, I can see that. So make sure that your surface is completely smooth before you put it in. All right, dust it off, dust it off. And to tidy it up at the end, I am going to take some white pigment. This is my white pigment. Put some white pigment and mix it to the green. And then blend it in. Blend the white pigment in. Make it just a slight a bit softer. Hello, Maria. Hi, Maria. <coughs> now, when you're done, go ahead and take shine it and apply shine it all over. I'm gonna dust up as it's dust first. Apply shine it on. I think uniquely Taddy said uh, earlier that hopes to be as good as you at some point. You know what? You will. You practicing, you watch. You will. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to show you, you all the there. tip and trick. Here this. If you love it, you're passionate, yes. you will get there. I don't really keep secret. Uh, but I, what I do is I don't teach privately. I teach everyone. Right. So everyone have a fair chance of learning. It's just up to you to learn as fast as possible so you can compete with your fellow nail artists and make as much money as possible. So it's a fair game for everyone. Now everyone know the secret. Uh, now it's up to you. That's all. It's up to you who learn faster, who make the first dollars. Ahead of the other one, you know what I mean. It is a race to succeed, to succeed, like that. And it's my hopes that a lot of people get so good that they are blessed with the opportunity, like you, where you know you have fourteen year clients. Right, clients have been there from the beginning. Because when you, when when you have a set schedule with every day you wake up knowing exactly what you're going to do and who you're going to deal with, life is great. Mm -hmm. It really is. And my client will pay whatever I want them to pay. So now, uh, since I'm not doing nail anymore, I have now decided to pass out the knowledge for everyone. But I will not do it privately at all. You cannot pay me to do it. I will teach everybody so everybody have a same for chance free. for free. Everyone have the same chance to make money. That's um, how we grow this industry. Mm -hmm. There's so many people that would get their nails done, but they've had such horrific times in the past, you know, and right. you know, in my eyes, it's something that's going to help everyone out and grow this industry. Hi, Tim. Oh, my God. Tim is here, too. <laughs> Hi, Tim. Oh, my God, Tim. We're going to be in, oh, in Orlando. We're going to be side by side. <laughs> it's going to be a party in Orlando. I'm really excited. It's only like a month ahead. And Deb say she have like a penthouse. Oh my god, it's gonna be a, like epic. She bad. She have. She say. She, even she say she have like thirty bedroom in there. Uh, yeah, yeah. We're gonna sleep in the yard. <laughs> we are outdoor sleeper. We uh, sleep outside. We don't really sleep. We have like a bed and a house and a bed, but we always sleep out in the yard. Yeah. Because back then we were went into the wood for like uh, two years and we're hunting and fishing. So now we just miss that lifestyle. All right, now this, I'm gonna make a pineapples. So let's take our metal effect gel. So you put shine it on top, cured and it, and now you file it down? Yes, now I buff it so chrome would not stick on it anymore. Now I'm taking this out. I'm drawing a pineapple pattern. And after I'm done, I am going to rub chrome on and going to stick exactly where I want it to stick. So, let's take out my palette. Pick out some gel and remember to load it. Always load it into your brush and then pull it out. Alright, so I decide to draw a pineapple pattern on here. So I am going to measure it first. 
I decided the pineapple will be right here. The leaf is up here. So from here, make one curve. Becky, can you turn your hand over for me, please? Thank you. All right, I'm gonna make another curve. It is gonna be lit. It's okay. always there. Now curve it up just like this. All right, now I am starting to make uh, a crisscross pattern for my pineapples. So from here, going down, I will not stay in the middle. I will go a little bit lower, okay? So right here is where I will end up. Let's go ahead and make a strike up just like this. Stop right here. Redo it if you want to, just to make your line as thick as you want. Now, do one more time from here, but you don't forget to eye on your previous line. Make sure everything is cohesive and consistent. Okay. Again, one more time. Just like yes. this. We will be at the premiere. And then I will give it another one down here. So Matt, how old are you? Just out of curiosity, because I, I, I had a thought last night. Oh, you're welcome, Jamie. 31. Oh, my 31? Goodness. Oh, let me, Matt! Let me, let me tell you, you think 31? you put me, put me under the table. You need to know this. You want to ask me? I've been smoking every day since you, the day you were born, buddy. You want to outsmoke me? I'm going to kick your ass, Matt. I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> okay, now I am going to reapply this. And let's take out the pointy brush. We've been on just for about, what, 10 minutes, 15 minutes? Uh... Yeah, I don't remember. It got to me. Yeah, my memory is gone now. Now, I am going to take this uh, pointy brush that I'm using, pointy brush right here. Yeah, my, my memory is pretty much gone now. Yeah. <laughs> Since 1990. Okay, now, <laughs> I am going to stroke it over just like this. Okay. And let's make a pineapple leaf. So touch it lightly. Ooh, and press and slowly lift. Another one for me. Touch it lightly and press and lift just like that. Now, a shorty over here. Touch it lightly and press and lift it in just like that. Mm -hmm. Another one over here. Remember to eye on this one. And it's better for me to do the left first. Because if I do the right first, when it comes to the left, I don't see the right. See, my hand is cold for the right. So I do the left, and now I can easily see my right. Oh, wait. I'm, uh, now I do the right. I can easily see my left. Hello, Tony Martinez. Hi, Tony Martinez. Okay. Touch it lightly and press and lift. Again, one more time for me. Touch it lightly and press and lift. There you go. Okay, adjust this a little bit and go ahead and cure. And after you cure, you, I take it out and I am gonna chrome everything. So put this in. 66,000, baby. Mm -hmm. This one right here, I decided to do a little ombre too. So again, I am taking our paper towels again. I should keep the other ombre, uh, the other pigment, but I already got rid of it. So I have to remix it. Okay, now, blue, green. One right here, one right here, a little more blue. Mix it in, mix it in, mix it in, just like makeup. It's just like makeup. Right. No, Matt, we gotta wait until uh, one of our movie nights. We don't watch TV very often, so we just save it up and then we have a nice night and 
cuddle and all that fun stuff. Yes, drop it in, drop it in, drop it in, just like that. Now, I You put super glue to stick them on? Stick what on? I'm not sure, I think I'm Oh, gonna... this on a nail stand? Mm-mm, are you uh, press on tap? You know, if it built to, uh, for people to stick onto the nail, then you can stick onto the nail stand and it wouldn't budge. So are you uh, press on adhesive tap for it? All right, turn it over. Go at it like crazy at first. Don't be scared, don't be shy. Just go at it. Go crazy at it. Just like that, just like that. And I just decided to have a little, little touch a pigment. So now I'm gonna run over my paper towel a few times before I do a drastic blend. Blend it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love you too, honey. Just like this. Oh, uh, we, oh and we're gonna go to the casino tonight too. It's gonna be so to, fun. To to adhere the uh, B. Actually, what he made oh, the that B. Mm, I make that B. Yeah, yes. that's a handcrafted, yeah. crafted. Yeah, that's no way that I can explain it for you in a couple of sentences. You have to watch the live. Yeah. On Instagram. Oh, that means you're a newcomer. Welcome, welcome. I do live every day. There are always content for you to see. And um, this is TikTok live. And this morning, I done did an Instagram live. And let's add a little white. Just a little white in here. Just a little bit. Rub it in, rub it in, rub it like you mean it. Rub it in. Rub it like you mean it. Okay, now. <laughs> Knock out all the excess dust for me. Make sure that it's not dusty. So it's not messy. All right. And blend it together. Blend it like that. Just like that. All right. Now, um, I'm still going to use some pigment. Okay. However, I want to block this from pigment. So let's take our shandy. Do one coat of shandy and block everything. Lock it all. Make sure pigment doesn't stick on it. So shine it all over. Run at the moderate speed. Cause if you run really fast, then you're gonna be missing spot, and you have to stroke it over and over and over again. That might bleed out your pigment. So make sure that when you run, you run over at the moderate speed, so everything is nice and safe. Here. Sixty seconds. Moderate speed. Moderate speed. Very slow. Very not slow. not like extremely slow, but you know, you know what I mean. Okay. Closing my shine and take out my solid chrome. Okay. And I will get out a uh, thingy. What is it? Oh, shadow applicators. I'll take out the shadow applicators and apply all over this. Just like that, honey. Just like that. Just like that. Just like that. Now you understand the purpose of why I'm buffing it first. Thank you. Uh... Later on, I will have a product that will help with this process. But when you don't have a product, then you can use a strategy that I'm using to block your chrome. Strategy. There's many ways, yes, many ways to approach a design. And it's very important to you to know everything. It's very important because when you bump into obstacle and trouble, you'll be like, oh, wait, I know another way. So when you buff, it's better for the chrome? It's block the chrome. Block the chrome. It's block the chrome. The chrome cannot penetrate in the background. It's blocked. It. Now, with this, later on, I'm going to draw like a leaf. So, first, I am going to mat this first. Mm -hmm. Using matted, apply all over the nails like this. Oh. One in the middle, going all the way down. Moderate speed, moderate speed. Don't, don't, don't be scared and go really fast. See, from here, just crawling all the way down, all the way down. There you go. Okay, I, the other one. I'm either curious about matte top coat for chrome. I don't know. No, no, no. Uh, matte top coat. If your matte doesn't stick, you know what I mean? If chrome doesn't stick to your matte, then by all means, you can use your matte. Cure this. I will cure this for 60 seconds. And then this, I will close the lid. Alright. 
Now, where are we? Take this, you white art gel. White art gel right here. Yep. And this white art gel can adhere chrome, it can adhere pigment also. However, it don't adhere chrome as well as metal fat gel. Metal fat gel can adhere chrome very well, very well. But this one, it can adhere chrome too. I don't use it for chrome as often, but I do use it for pigment. Take out your 10 millimeters with a palette. I'm done with pigment, so let's, let's put it into a pigment gel right here. Okay. Now, let's take out your art gels and make a big scoop. Slide it over here and imagine my pattern so i want gold leaf to be from here going up so i want green leaf from here going down this way so make a line first one thin line it's very hard to see make sure you wear glasses when you're doing this touch it lightly and press and lift press and lift Press. Not a leaf for me. Touch and press and lift. Again, touch and press and lift. When you lift, it becomes skinnier. When you press, it becomes bigger in the meadows. Okay, one line right here. Touch and press and lift. Again for me. Touch, press and lift. Color in the meadows. Just like this. Mm, let's give it one more over here. There you go. Now it is time to go ahead and cure this for 60 seconds. Just like that. Let me see where we at. La la la. Now I am going to return the chrome on here onto the gold, but as you can tell, that right now, my chrome is sealed. Nothing can take it up. See, it's already sealed. Seal in the deal. Seal the deal. Seal the deal. Yes. So now, wipe my brush away. And since I am going to use top coat, I want to make sure that it's super clean. So clean it up just like this. Wipe it off. Now it's squeaky clean. Time for me to apply some top coat. Shandit is what I'm gonna use that apply top coat. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Maria. Thank you, Maria. Wouldn't shine it in here. Let's return the shine for this. Shine for the leaf. Another one right here. Just like that. Another one. Just like this. Another one. <laughs> and so on and so on. Another one, just like that. And before I move on, I am go ahead and cure. One, two, three. Since it's light, I build this so to make sure that the bottom is covered whatever I have going on here. So you can use the flashlight, but if you use a flashlight, you have to be very careful not to kill whatever gel you have underneath here. Now I am gonna take some more top coat and apply it in the chrome line over here. Another one over on this side. Bring all the way down. You can you can flash in between if you want to. I'm just gonna go all the way with it. Another line right here. like that another one that's it just like this another one and when you're ready here one through three put it in the oven here for 60 seconds put it in the oven you mean the light baby yes <laughs> oh yeah the light yeah. now take this out oh Let thank it. you for the cake Mm. I was gone for a minute, so if anybody uh, what cake? What cake? Anything, I'm hungry. Or... What cake? And no, no, this. What's the cake? Huh? This cake? Uh, on on the screen. Oh, uh, okay. Cake. I know, right? Oh, okay. Okay, now it's... um, I am gonna take out some blue. Are you excited? I want some blue. 
almost decided. I thought that's right. cake. And some green. <laughs> right, Kiana? <laughs> oh, just so you know, sometimes I made up random words when I talk. Sometimes I just randomly make up words. Oh, yeah, I just throw in random words in yeah, there. Mm-hmm. Right, when I would just squish it around the paper towel. Hello, just, just squish it around, just like this. And then knock off the dust. And with this one, let's go ahead and start right at the end of the leaf and dust it over just like this. See how magical it is, just like that. And a little bit right here on the stem. And let's call it a day to start. Okay. You can color all the way if you want, but if you color all the way, might as well just use gel. I want it's just a touch of color, just a little fade, so I'm going to leave it exactly like this. Hello, Nicole. Thank now, you, Carla. Oh. Oh? Darn it. What happened, baby? What happened? Oh. Did you have a cat? I want to do some gold leaf right here, which is using chrome technique, but I forgot to buff it. Oh. Oh. Oh, you know what? why look, am I doing this to myself? Let's looks, go ahead and do this. That looks pretty. I'm just gonna dive into the danger zone. The danger zone? Yeah. Right now? Live? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You got me nervous. If I fail, it will be over. Oh, the whole goodness. thing will be over. My whole career will be over. I'm gonna put it on the line, just like this. Yes, going all right, in. Jamie. Going Jamie's all the way in. Kittens. Buffer that <laughs> shit up. Buffer it up, just like that. Yes. Yes. Be very careful. I'm gonna try to dodge the leaf. Just like that. Oh. <laughs> it's so tricky. I hate it when it gets tricky on me. Oh, look at this tedious thing. It's so tricky. It's tricky. Tricky. And whatever it is I'm doing here. Oh, this is how I buffer when I first started out. Like this. On the whole nails. <laughs> you know, I used to worry a little bit when he'd get over. You know what? I've never seen him not accomplish something. All right. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I just have to you black metal fat gels. What's my black metal fat gel? Uncap this. Just like this. Do you only do gel now? Yes. I do acrylic too. And foundation. But I don't teach acrylic. It's boring. Oh, it took the life out of me. <laughs> Breathing all those chemicals and all that. Okay, so I am gonna get some metal effect gel. Is that what I'm using? I'm gonna put it right here for you. And with this metal effect gel, let's go ahead and draw some leaf. Um, right about here. That is as far I can go. Hello, Alex Nail Secret. Hi, Alex Nail Secret. Ooh. Nail Secret. Hi, Alex. Okay, going in. Nicole, I'm gonna tell you what that beast said he did back there. You know how I am. I'm, I'm not an artist by any means. Wouldn't even try. It's not my passion. But he's got me wanting to recreate that. Mm-hmm. Might be my first nail ever. How many light do we have now? Ninety thousand. <laughs> Woohoo! Yay! Oh, sorry, I didn't. I didn't mean to be too excited. Oh, 90,000. Oh, that's great. That's great. <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's good. That's good. That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Okay, now I'm going to draw another leaf down here. Just like this. Okay. This leaf looks a little weird, but whatever. Now I'm going to make another leaf down here. You know, just like this. Nails by Jesse. Just pay attention um, to some of the other lives on Instagram, and he goes over pigment and Get makes this. it easy. You got this. So this right here, I am going to yield unicorn glitz solars. Apply all over this. This is one strategy of sugaring that will ensure that you end up with an ombre sugar. You see, when people um, do sugaring, they put on a gel, right? And then they pour it on top. But what if you want it to be ombre? Well, the trick is you do the ombre first and foremost. Then seal everything and then get what gel you're going to use. Clear gel, duh. And so you can see the color behind it. See? 
See, you have to crack that code. Now, let's open this. Thanks, Aunt Deb. And remember, do not open it like this because this is in the bottom. This is on top. So, so you don't lose track of your lid. You know what I mean? Kill this. Uh-huh. Uh, baby, real quick, because yeah. it made my butthole pucker a little bit. What is it? Uh, somebody's asking about how you clean your brushes, dip the nail <coughs> polish remover. Uh, when I'm done with my brush, what I do is I just wipe it like this and close the cap because I do want the gel, just a little bit of gel residue to ensure that my brush is stay flexible and hold its shape just like this. Next time I take it out, you can take alcohol or acetone and you dip it and you clean it really quick and you submerge it in gel immediately. So your brush only stay without gel for a few seconds. That way it can last because if you clean it after you use, then what happened is your brush will be so dry, it will stay overnight and it can ruin the light of your brush much faster. So remember this monster, clean before you use, not after you use. And then when it comes to pigment brush, you just, what do they do, honey? When it comes to pigment brush, this is how I clean this. So, I take a paper towel and I go like this. <laughs> Just like that, honey. Just like that. That's it. Now, if you want to clean it in a solvent, okay, you can. Maybe your pigments are so strong. You can clean it in the solvent. But what I do is I use Aston. Straight Aston to clean it. Because number one, Aston will evaporate in seconds. So, because pigment, you want it to be dry, you don't want it to be wet. So I use straight acetone. Number two, you don't worry about acetone ruining the lifespan of this brush and dry it out. Because what happened is, the drier the pigment brush, the better it is. Mm -hmm. So, let's take some gold chrome, Whee! and let's rub it into the eyeshadow applicators. Now, I am gonna take this and rub this in, but be very careful. Okay. Now, how uh, usually the correct way to do this because I forgot to do this first. The correct way is to coat everything with sanded, buff everything, and then do the gold uh, design right here. And then after you do the gold, do the gold design, you can do the white design on it and put pigment on it because a buff surface is chrome block and pigment block at the same time. So the correct way is to do the gold first. But I forgot. I was too busy chatting with you guys. I forgot. Oops. Yeah, but you saved a whole bunch oh, of Oh, look. Oh, I passed. I passed a test. Oh, I'm so happy. I was thought my career was over, but oh, thank you, Lord. Oh. What brush do you advise for powder nails? Powder nails? I think she means mm. pigment. Pigment nails. This is my pigment brush. I only carry one kind on my website. It is a pigment brush, and it's still in stock. All right. So I can put everything back and I am going to take out Shandit. Shandit right here. And I am going to use a 7 millimeters. It's shorter and it oh, helps. acrylic brush. Mm, acrylic brush. I use nail that brush. Number 16 and number 14. Nail that studio with one of my friends. Uh, he sell, he just sell uh, gel and uh, acrylic. And... Um, uh, he started out selling uh, acrylic. That's what he started out with. And I'm really uh, like uh, the acrylic brush that he used too. Okay. So with Shanded, I am going to apply Shanded onto the empty space right here. One. Yes, Nancy. Two. Like this, just like this. Fill the in, fill the in, just like that. This too, fill the in. There you go. On the other side, doing the same things. Hundred K, baby. Woohoo! Yes. Hey. Just like this. Hello, Becky. Hi, Becky. Fill it in, fill it in. 
Yes, make sure it's all filled up nicely. Yes, honey, yes. Right here too, just like that, honey. Now the author, Becky, can you turn your hand over for me, please? Thank you. Hmm. Now fill this in. Just like that. Fill this in too. And be, remember, when you get near the edge, be extremely careful. You you don't want this to run everywhere. And remember that it is a top coat. It can run everywhere. Yes, Dixie. Becky's so flexible. I know, right? She's awesome. Hey, babe, what do you plan on doing on the uh, um, thumb for the bee? Thumb for the bee, uh, I'm going to keep it a secret because that's what I post on my Instagram page. Uh, get me a triangle tray dusting. Okay. All right, so we are using unicorn glitz solars. Having a tray out, poured it all over, just like this. Yes, honey, just like that. Poured it all over. Do you see? Do you see? That is a trick right there for you. Ooh, Keep Becky pouring. Frost wants to know, what, what, what do you think about making the tusk on your white elephant? Marble. Oh, uh, here this um can be a little tricky for me. I can think about it. Um, it can be confusing. It can be confusing because it's now and it's so little. I mean, if an actual marble on a real elephant, that'd be so pretty. But my yeah. nail is so little. I'm afraid that um, the viewer couldn't make out what it is. Makes sense, makes it could sense. be an ombre. It could be a black to white ombre on the tusk. So unicorn glitz, I already sprinkled it on. I already keyed this. Let's go ahead and put some mat all over this to uh, secure this. So Tino usually comes on live every day and then it'll go for a few weeks and then take a few days off to get things caught back up and then yes. back at it again. And now we're doing twice a day. But yes. we're taking the next three days off and we'll be back Saturday. Because when I first start out, uh, I'm, I'm very helpless. Uh, there's no one around to teach me. You've never been helpless. Yeah. Well, you know, when I hear it, I'm doing this, and there's no one around to, for me to ask. And then all these people charging so much money back then. Back then, people charged a lot of money about 10 years ago. When Tammy Taylor's still teaching, oh, Tammy. Tammy's still teaching, and that's, that's, that's a lot of money, so I couldn't afford it. So now it's my purpose to teach everyone the games. Everyone so have, have a to chance. struggle like you. Right. Thank you, Sonia. Where no. do you get your inspirations? Um, that is part that made me special. Uh, that what I'm known for is diversity. So um, I watch uh, fashion magazine. I even look at other people nails art, and then I look at shoe. That's one of my favorite. And then I look at jewelry, and then somehow my mind just piece everything together. And then we take walks and yes, just whatever's beautiful, whatever you love, you can turn it to design. Yes. Uh, music does inspire me a lot, and you know, so does wind. You know what I mean? So does the wind. <laughs> yeah, so does the wind. Everything inspire me in life, from the uh, object to nature to people to sound. Everything is admirable, inspirable. But you have to love it to and be kittens. inspired. Yeah. yeah, kittens help. If you ever look at anything with an attitude, you will never be able to absorb it. You have to actually look at it with love. You have to appreciate it to be able to soak in all the detail from it. Kill this. Let me put on my finger to see. So Ooh. love will help you design. And now I will put in some stone. Can you hand me the two other tray over there, Dustin? The babies? Yes. Thank you. I am going to chew. Number one is Chongqiu's Shimmer. 
Number two is uh, aqua. Okay, I'm gonna choose these two. And then I am gonna use glue because I'm done. Uh, I'm gonna put it on top of top coat. So I rather use glue so I don't have to seal. I am going to use a crystal magic glue for this. Oh, oh, no problem. As I was now. Now, squeeze it out. Squeeze it. Ooh, this is a tight one. Squeeze it. A tight one. <laughs> yes, spit on it. <sighs> I hope I had some loops or something. Okay, mm -hmm. now, um, time to get the crystal katanas right here. Mm -hmm. These are crystal katanas. And I am going to put a drop of glue right in the middle. Put it in my stone. Just like that. Now, another drop of glue on both sides. One, two, just like that. And apply both John Quill shimmers on each side, just like that. Oh, Becky, do it immediately. <laughs> now what I want. She knew now what I want. Baby. Yes. That's the type of client that you want. You know exactly mm -hmm. what you want. Okay, now. This is very tropical uh, color crystal too. Go ahead and try this. Good. Yeah, I like Put it that. Here. Boy, that just really set it off, didn't it? Isn't it? Oof. Now, where is my other things? Oh, it's right here. So, um, let's think about this. Think about it very. Um, <laughs> I need pixie gels, okay? Need? Yeah, need. So before uh, I'm applying pixie gel on here, what I'm gonna do is reshape a little bit because this have involved many layers. So I am gonna do a light reshape. So I'm taking out my files and I'm gonna shape it just a little bit. So leave it straight, file. Just like that, file. Make sure everything is exactly how you want it. And then turn it over just a little bit like this. See the new edge? File again. <clears throat> what is that in the bottle you just put on the gem? That is crystal magic glue. And then crystal magic glue have a crystal magic glue dryer. So that is a glue and then the, the glue dryer is come in a bundle. Uh, my crystal magic glue, you have plenty of time to work with uh, over a minute. But my crystal magic glue dryer, it can dry it instantly. So whenever I need it to dry instantly, I put on my crystal magic glue dryer. It will freeze it instantly, especially when you work with big stone, you want it to stay still. So when you work with small stone around it, you don't bump into it. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why I need the glue dryers. All right, now uh, gi just give it one final top coat. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Does it? Does it in circular motion? Circular motion because it cover all angles. <coughs> so filing the sides won't make your top coat or gel polish peel off. No, it will make. It can eat the top coat a little bit. That's why I put on top coat. Instead, if you don't put on your top coat, then you might buff your color away and you don't want that. And make sure you watch it when you buff it. Don't buff it. Don't, don't fire it blindly. Never blindly, <coughs> blindly fire it. Always watch what you're doing mm -hmm. to make sure that everything is seamless. Now, let me see. Does it dust it? Does it all over? Does it? That's it now right here too. That's it. Uh, in Orlando premiere, I am going to uh, demo art three days straight. From sun up to sundown, I don't take break. I don't take lunch break. I'm going like a machine. Mm -hmm. But he feeds off that. Yes. That's what makes him go. All right, let's top coat one more time. Just like this. Again. Apply it all over this right here. Nice and smooth like that. Yes, honey, yes. Make it smooth, honey. Yes. 
Yes, just like that. Yes. There you go. Cue this. Let's double tap them screens. Keep Tino going. All right. Let's see this one right here again. Apply top coat all overs. Just like that. Mmm. Smooth like butters. Uh, yes. Tino doesn't do classes at the premiere. No, no classes for me. I'm busy doing show. Cue this. If they give me a free boot, I'll do classes. No, we wouldn't. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. <laughs> Close this. That's, that's no time for class. It's the premiere. Right. The premiere is going crazy. Everything is going crazy as a premiere. All right, now. When I cure that, I will take out gold pixie gel. So gold pixie gel is a high class. You don't need top coat. Just like that. Now I am going to take out a liner brush. Okay. Make sure I clean this first. Just like that. So for... Uh Okay. Now this one, let's go ahead and apply Go Pixie. So Tino will just be sitting there doing demos over and over. So for all those who've always wanted a nail done by Tino, you can get one nail done. Yes, touch by Tino. Touch by Tino. <laughs> it sounds weird. Sounds a little petty. Apply all overs. Um, you know we get so busy that going on live doesn't it? It, it never. We never have time, mm -mm. and we never think of it either. Uh, premiere show. Uh, I will leave the privilege to the people that go to the premiere. Yeah, they can go on live. You gotta have something for everyone. Because if 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 you are doing live, then then it's not encourage people to go to the show. So just like here, but it's so crazy. That's no way I have time to go live. That is no and, way. And then if you ever, and then I don't even have time to, to eat to do the phone, and I'm not a very good phone and, guy. I don't have time to drink at the premiere. I only have time to drink waters. And that's where I can get some. Here this. How do you find out the info on the show? That's a good question. Orla you never know. Orlando Premiere on Google. Go on Google and click Orlando Premiere. It will lead you straight to the website. See, just like this. Mm -hmm. Now, covered with pixie gels. Yes, honey, just like that. Another one for me over on this side. Run all the way down. Yes, Zindy. Zindy did the elephant last night. Woohoo! Yes. Just like this. All over. All right, Erica. Bye, Erica. Be I will careful. see you soon. I will see you Saturday, Erica. Stay bye safe. bye. Bye bye, Erica. Okay. Now, with some cold pixie gel. Again, just kind of fill it in, make it perfect, make it perfect. All right, cure this. Surely, I'm not going to leave it blank like that. That is so not Tino. It's elegant, but it's not Tino. Tino is crazy. What should I, what else should I do with this? Oh! Let's make a French tip. Becky, can you turn your hand over for me, please? Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. From here, curving up. Yes, honey. All right, turn it around, Becky. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm going to curve up. Just like this. Yes, honey. All right, uh, we want another one. Mm, let's go ahead and cure first because I'm unsure. Let's cure this first. Let's seal the deal first and then we can add another one if we like. 
All right. Turn over, Becky. Thank you. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. Yes, honey. Yes. All right, kitties, too. All right. Let's do another one. Just, just to see. All right. Bend over, Becky. Oh, no. I mean, turn over, Becky. Good. Thank you. Right. Now, another one right here. See if it's good. If it's not good, then I'm gonna erase it instantly. Instantly. Let me see. Ah, <coughs> uh, mm, okay, okay. It's a, um, let me see. Hmm. Doesn't what you think? What do you think about? I think it's beautiful. Honey. Double line. You like double line? I do like double line. Because the other line only one line matches your necklace. It's sad. <laughs> the other one is sad. Oh, it's so sad. Yeah, the other one is it's elegant, but it's not Tino. Tino go crazy at it. Look at this one, so dainty. Let me see. Without it. You know what? This is different. It's, I, I like this. Let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Kill this. Oh, I just have another idea though. What? Um, I might do it like a upside down V. Like a V uh, line. Ooh. 119,000 likes, baby. Woohoo! <laughs> And I'm already almost done. And our last record is 180,000. Blue bling on French, says Tara. Hi, Tara. Anxious nail tech. Oh, Tara is ancient nail tech? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, let's see. French. Thank you, Stacy. Okay, I'm going to kill this because I, I'm not going to add anything in. Stacy, Stacia. Stacia? I like that better. I like that. Like a uh, Stacia. It's like a like a um, Mediterranean princess. A Medi Mediterranean. Say that again, honey. Mediterranean princess. <laughs> Are you making fun of my Mediterranean? I, I, no, I was just. No, absolutely not. Now, uh, this is a dangerous move. I'm not sure if it's going to be pretty, but I'm just going to do it anyway. I can always wipe it off. You can always wipe it off. What do you think, Dustin? Is it is it too crazy? No. You like that? I do. What do you think, everybody? Like is it, it is it crazy? It pulls in a half a pineapple with a little bit of a uh, word I'm looking for, like a deco, like a deco <clears throat> pineapple. You like it? I'm gonna do one more. So let me see. Without, okay, okay, okay. Oh, me it like it. Crazy. Get this. I love it, love it, love it. All right. Just crazy enough. So, I'll do another one just like this. KG. Exactly like this on the side. And another one for me, like this. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. I'm very happy. I'm satisfied. Yay. Um, um, I'm living <coughs> dangerously today. So I want to make a frame all around. <coughs> but you see, when people do frame, what they do is they, they do the cuticle and then they turn over on the side, right? And they would do one line exactly the same, you know, the same thickness. Like this, this is what they do. They do a line with the same kind of thickness. But you, they forgot that the nail curve, the nail is not flat. The nail have a C curve. So, hi, Kimberly. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad you made it to our live. Um, basically, they forgot about the curve. So when they turn back, the clear line disappear. You don't see the clear line anymore. So what you do is you lay the nail right flat and look directly at it. Do not turn it anywhere. And you take this brush and you run over and make sure that you see the clear line when you run. See that? You can still see it. 
See the glitter line? Make sure you see it. And then run all the way down. Do not turn it anywhere. Make sure that your glitter line is consistent. Okay. Do not turn it on the side. You have to make sure you look directly at it. Okay. Now, when you turn it on the side, look. Look closely. It's not, it's not all the way perfect. You see this empty space right here? This is when you can feel it. So it doesn't matter what it looks like on the side as long as people can see it when they stare directly at it. That is one of the tricks. Okay. Becky, can you turn hand over for me, please? Thank you. Well, that's what we love to hear, Desi Benson. Learning a lot. Yay. Yeah, very good, very good. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I think your designs are pretty cool. Whenever I try, I panic. And it just doesn't turn out right. Don't panic. You have to judge your process. Yes. Um, that is when practice is coming in. People... People most often afraid of practice. They're like, oh, I couldn't do it. Like, like they practice like, uh, like a couple of times. One or two. And, then and they're like, oh, I couldn't do it. But what people don't know is practicing is the best time ever because there's no one around to judge you. There's no customer. Have you ever started on a customer set and you nev you're not prepared? And then you run into issue and then sweat rolling down your forehead just because... At that moment, you're in crunch time and, and you just don't know what to do. You don't want that to happen to you. So make sure that when you have free time, you've got to practice that. Mm -hmm. You've got to make sure that you come prepared so you can do your, your nail set confidently. That way you can charge way more money confidently than when you're not prepared. Hear this. It really is the key, and then once you get confident, then you have the ability to control your energy and everyone around you. Right. That way you can surround yourself with positive, beautiful people. Now, this uh, one thing about this pixie gel is it don't need top coat. And that little bit of adjustment does a lot. It helps a lot. Because back in the day, when you have a nude background, and then you have a sparkle like it to paint lines over it, you only have two choices. Choice number one is you have to top coat the entire things. Either all matte or all shine, which is no contrast. Number two, you want to keep the matte contrast in the background. You have to take top coat and trace each individual line. It will take forever. So now today, you don't have to. You can just have a matte background. You can just take out your pixie gel and draw whatever it is you want on top of the matte background. And when you cure, you're done. No top coat needed. And we stay high gloss for a very long time until your client come back. So that is just another thing about the gold pixie gel. It comes in three shades. Gold, I selected to where it's not too yellow, it's not too orange. Same with the rose gold. I selected to where like it's, not, it's not too pink and it's not too orange. And the silver, it's just really a silver. There's so nothing really special about it. Everybody have silver sparkle. But the reason why I have silver because you can change the color of the pixies. That's why I only have three colors. You can put some silver on here. And then you can pick up some pink right here. Or any color. Yeah, pigment. some pink pigments. Any color pigment would do. And you mix it together. And there's go another pixie colors. I'm gonna blow it up. And there you go. See that? Perfect. Now you can make any color you want to. Yes, it come fully filled. I I have used it for like six months, so it's it's like almost end. Maybe not six months, maybe three months. <clears throat> All I know is when we open them, we gotta scrape the crap off the top. Yeah. I use my pixie gel to the last drop. I love my pixie gels. Usually, when other gel, when it's almost done, I just throw it away. But my pixie gel, I, I scrape the last drop on it. so pretty. All right, everyone. This is what we demo today. This is the pineapple that we do. Uh, let's add a little bit of... Can you hand me this? Let me see. Uh, 
if I want to add. Uh, Maybe I feel like a surgeon assistant today. <laughs> Ooh, look at this, you guys. Oh. Add it in, add it in. One, two. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, Britt Davis. Mm, do I need anything in the middle? Maybe not. Uh, okay, so let's see, let's see. Need some glue. <coughs> Squeeze some glues out. See, it's crystal magic glue that I'm using. Yeah, Tara say it's exactly like uh, she imagined it. Yes. Okay. Squeeze some glue out. Hello, Sassafras. Hi, Sassafras. Okay, a drop of glue right here. Do not spread it out. You don't want to spread out too big, but you can. You can stack it like this. You can have one more drop right here. Stack it. See? So it's tall. So when you when you put the stone in, it can squish out like this. Just squish it. Yeah, I just made up that word. Okay, so I'm taking the stone and, and when I put it in, it just squish out. See that? Squish. All the glue squishing out. And you leave it here for now. Not the one for me. Mm -hmm. Some glue out of here, just like that. <laughs> Super stalker powers and prediction. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I love her. Just like this, and one stone in. Good, 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 good. All right, let's see. Let me scrout to my stone pile. Let's see me if I have anything else. You're gonna scrout through your. I'm gonna scrout to my uh. Do I have to do a random word again? Yeah, you did. You did. Um, yeah, let's see. You know, do whatever you want, baby. <laughs> okay. So, um, I'm have my eye on this guy right here. This is Aurora Aurora Abuelis. Aurora Abuelis. Aurora Abuelis. <laughs> Take it out. I'm thinking right in the metals. Now it's no longer elegant. Now it's a crazy design. Just like I want it to be. Either that or a raindrop. Let me see. Um, Raindrop will have to be a little one. So it's a diamond or a raindrop from here. Ooh! <gasps> Forget the diamond, honey. Forget the diamond. Well, oh, I'm doing rent drop. Sound like you just had a fantastic better yes. idea. Yes. So, uh, is a bigger one gonna be prettier? I don't know. Is it? Let me see. Hmm. That's a bit debatable. Too big. Let's use a little one. All right. Are you about done, baby? Uh, I'm about done. All right. Yes. Can you, you got this uh, for the rest of it? Yes, yes. All right, I'm gonna go shave and jump in the shower. Okay. Oh, thank you for the uh, heart in the hands, baby. Yes, thank you, thank you. Love you. Love you, honey. Okay, so I'm gonna apply the rent up right about here. And Put one in. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, that is so unique. This could be a whole another design right here. That is so unique. I love it. I love it. <sighs> yes. I just have a mini orgasm. I love it. Oh, my God. It's amazing. Make sure you dry it with the glue dryers. And let's move on to the pinkies. Oh, that is so beautiful. <sighs> okay, move on to this one. Just like this. And add in your little rent drop. Okay. Oh, that, that is just mesmerizing. <gasps> This design is a total accident. I did not see it coming. That's why I love to practice and play with my design because 
sometimes design just surprise me. See now, now I will remember this pattern for the rest of my life. Like I'm in a contest, I will be like, oh, I used to do something like this. Let's pull it out and see. This is so beautiful. <gasps> I'm so glad that I add a tip to it instead of just leave it blank. Beautiful. All right, you guys, this is a tropical pineapple set that I did. Cause I'm going crazy, but I totally love it. I'm very happy with this. It's very good. All right, let me clean everything up. So today on Instagram, this on uh, tinovo.shop, let me show you. So for the bees, you can find the bees at tinovo.shop. But not the bees, just the art. Just like this finger, this finger, and this fingers. This, this, and this. You can find at tinovo.shop. So if you want to take a screenshot of that. And then the actual bee, just because it's bedazzle. The bee is bedazzle. I have all my bedazzle work at Crystal Nail Ferry. So you want to screenshot that. You can watch the bee, the making of the bees in the crystal nail fairy bye bye mama vic have a good day all right and then this live and the white elephant live right here so yesterday i did a white elephant set you can see that on youtube and this one you can tomorrow i will upload on youtube on this one and my youtube is tino vo that's my YouTube. These are my pictures. And um, my YouTube are very small. I just start out. I just start posting stuff on it. So if you watch it, please subscribe for me and share for me and like for me. Do whatever. Just to make it bigger. You know, like I want like a million, a million subscriber. Yeah. No, no, not a million. Ten million subscriber. So just do whatever to make it bigger. All right. That's what she said. Okay, so this is all done right here. Beautiful. And I will uh, upload that tomorrow. Uh, to, today, you can already view this on YouTube today. So this one tomorrow will be on. And I will see you Saturday. I will miss you. Um, Saturday, I will go on at 11 a.m. on Instagram. And then I will jump to the Crystal Nail Ferry to do some crystal. And then possibly jump on here right after to do some nail. And possibly jump back on Sick Talk later at 6 p.m. to do another nail set. So you never know. So uh, whatever I do, I will uh, schedule it onto my TikTok bio so you can see the next one. Bye-bye, everyone. And I will see you Saturday. Thank you, you guys, for the like. It's 144,000. Thank you, you guys. It's amazing. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Bye-bye. And for newcomer, welcome you to the Tinovo family. Um, here we do our demo demonstration and tell you which product to yield, which product not to yield. So for newcomer that never seen me before, welcome, welcome. And I will see you later. Bye-bye. Bye, Carolina. Bye, Tracy. Bye-bye. Bye, Maria. Have a good day. You little twerk. Bye bye, bye everybody, bye Sinez, bye Jesse, bye Mishi, bye Abby, bye bye, bye Tiki, bye bye, bye bye, bye Mass, bye bye Jamie, bye bye, see you guys later, bye Carrie, bye Toya, bye bye, bye Stasius, bye everyone, bye Sarah, bye Chi, bye bye. See you guys later. Okay, I'm gonna get off here.